I keep hearing this problem from a lot of you over the years is you, you have such an instinct about needing to keep your content thematic because you have this idea that posting content on a similar theme should get you clients. And of course it has an influence on it, but the problem I have with thinking about your content in that way is that there's an agenda behind it. There is, no matter how subtle, the audience feels there's an agenda when you post content, you're trying to get them to like you or hire you or check out your stuff. And I invite you to go look at my blog post or video about why separate content from selling. You know, this is important. I mean, this is kind of unique to what I, most people don't talk about this, right? Like I, that's one of the unique things I teach, but it's not just what I, I'm not just trying to be a contrarian. I do it myself. I, 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 I try to be, not try to be random, but I don't mind if my stuff is random. Here's why. No matter how random you think you are, there is always a unifying deeper theme or value set or area of life that you tend to care about. <laughs> it, you know, you're only one person. No matter how renaissance person you think you are, no matter how passionate, <clears throat> multi-passionate you think you are, you don't have unlimited time and resources. And so you only care about certain areas of life that all have some unifying thread. It's basically your personality. And so, you know, so for example, I'm talking to somebody here who says, well, I, I took a picture of um, a horse I was working with and how the horse dug a hole in the hay. And I was talk talking about, okay, I'm going to take, take that picture and say, are you willing to go for what you want? Okay. And then the next day I post <clears throat> a, a tarot card I'm using a tarot card and posting something about that. And I asked the person, well, what's the tarot card about? Oh, well, this is an animal-based tarot deck. Well, okay, it's all animals because, because this person cares about animals. And, and so do their clients also care about animals too, obviously. Uh, not just care about, like deeply care about animals, like really resonate with animal type of imagery, stories, um, you know, so no matter how random you think you are, I guarantee you there's a unifying energy signature that attracts the people who are attracted to your energy signature. Now you say, George, that's all fine and good. One thing is, okay, so, so I'll, I'll continue from here and say this, you still might be feeling discombobulated or you still might be going, well, how do I get clients from all that? Okay. So feeling discombobulated, here's what I invite you to do. So, so, so the benefit, right, of not holding yourself to some kind of sequence theme of posting about specific step one, step two, step three, or, or only on this theme is that you liberate your creativity. You allow yourself to engage with life in real time and post and create based on your engagement with life at the moment, which is what actually creates, generally creates the best content. Right. Rather than, well, I said I would post on the steam. So I'm going to keep going on the horse theme for the next five weeks. I'm launching a horse program. Agenda, 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 dampening of creativity. Of course, it can work. Like I said, everything has an influence on how you get clients. But, but number one, <clears throat> the discombobulation or disorganization you feel about your content is partly because you had this illusion that you're supposed to try to get clients that way. We'll talk about that next. Don't worry about it content is for growing your reach and deepening your trust because of the energy signature that they're sensing from you. If they sense an agenda from you, it, it definitely, there's a resistance to building trust. Okay. So let yourself be creative and let yourself engage with life and create based on those variety of ideas. Number one, number two, still on the content piece. <clears throat> I talk about the three stages of content and really going through the three stages of content is what organizes your content. Because stage one should be as variety and experimental and, and inspiration driven as possible. It's stage two content that starts to create some organization of your content. And by the time you get to stage three content, you've got, you've organized into a book or an online course or some kind of program or event or, you know, series of some kind. So your content organization Look at it from a bigger picture of the three stages of content creation. If you don't know what the three stages of content are, Google 
search the three stages of content and click on my blog post and you read about it. So number two, how the heck do we get clients when we have seemingly discombobulated this kind of post one day, that kind of post another day, this topic one. Here's how. Your content draws your kindred spirits to you. Step one. Okay. And the more inspira inspirationally driven your content is, the more it's likely to be powerful for that. And of course, try to do stage two content, right? Work through the three stages of content that helps you to create reach and trust and some alignment. Now, then once you have the attention of your audience, which is the most valuable thing they can give you, not even money is as valuable. Attention is the most valuable thing they can give you because the attention is where all relationship starts, all engagement starts. So once you have their attention, because of your being your naturally inspired self, you're creating consistently, generating inspiration, but engaging with life. Now, you also do consistent, I used to call it gentle launches, but I'll say consistent authentic outreach, which are the techniques of, for example, doing some free to attend paid recording webinars or having some circles of enrollment into your services or your products or your programs, et cetera. So the authentic outreach is something that I recommend everyone do at least once a month, if not twice a month, that you're always letting your audience, that people whose attention you have, you let them know, you invite them again into your service and work. Because there's an energy signature match, they will pay attention to what your offer is, okay? You don't all have to just post about horse things to finally launch a horse program. Horse thing one day, tarot card another day, dog thing third day, cat thing fourth day, but it's probably all related to, again, your energy, of course it's related to your energy signature. And then you launch a horse thing two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks later, it's still attached to your energy signature. It's still resonant with them. Now, you say, well, George, I didn't get enough clients for my horse program. Well, because not everyone who is paying attention to you has a horse to work with, <laughs> right? It's not, it's not you, it's them. And, so, and, and, it's, and it's the reach problem. So you just keep posting content. Your content is going to get start, especially your stage two content. Again, look up the three stages of content. Your stage two content is going to get shared and more of those people are going to come to you. And then, and then you launch things that are based on what's alive for you and what's alive based on your market research for the moment. And then you, you get, as your audience grows and as your trust deepens and as your alignment grows with market research, people are going to start buying. People are going to start hiring. People are going to start, start spreading the word about your offers. So that's, that's how the flow works. And I hope this is a bit more clear than before.